Come with me to the European Proteomics Conference. I've never traveled so much for such a short distance. It took me 18 hours, two flights, two buses, and two train rides to get to San Malo. Also, David took me to a music festival the day before, and I had to leave at 3 a.m., so I was absolutely exhausted when I finally got to the hotel and went to bed right away. The next morning, my colleagues and I rented a car to visit Mont Saint Michel. It was as beautiful as expected. We decided to walk instead of taking a shuttle bus, so the views were fascinating. I tried their special team, a very fluffy omelette for lunch. The conference started in the evening and I couldn't really join the networking drinks because I still lacked sleep. Four out of five vital metrics were flashing red and my whoop thought I was dying, so I decided to recover for the next day. My presentation was scheduled as the very last before the final keynote, so I had to stay energized and caffeinated the whole day. My talk was about one of the projects I did during my postdoc about differentiating subtypes of sporadic CJD with machine learning. The sessions were quite mass spec heavy and I was one of the few participants talking about proximity extension essay. I was surprised that I ended up in the drug discovery session rather than the bioinformatics and AI one, but regardless, I think it went well. The next morning, I decided to go for a run and explore the nearby coastline of San Melo. I was so happy that I brought my running shoes, the weather was great, and I finally felt recovered from several sleepless nights. I was very much looking forward to the sandcastle competition in the evening. We were asked to build the castle of our dreams on the nearby beach. My friends and I joined another group, quickly realizing that three of us wouldn't manage to build anything in one hour. Our group leader wanted to build a mass pack instead of a castle. And we managed to do it, but it was definitely one of the ugliest ones out of 15. The biggest plot twist of my life was that the next day, the organizers decided to award the worst castles according to the votes. And you guessed it, we won the prize. So I would say the moral of the story is that sometimes it's okay to be the worst. Although the gala dinner was fun, I didn't stay too long because I was leaving at 6 in the morning and I was already dreading my journey back. Although my layover wasn't as long as before, both of my flights were delayed and I was once again exhausted when I finally got home. It literally took me three days to feel normal again.